Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the solid granny square. So you want to take your yarn and make your slip knot in whichever way you choose. And we are going to start with a foundation chain of four. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. We're then going to make this chain into a circle by inserting our hook into the first chain that we made and we're going to yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. So just like the normal granny square we're going to do four clusters of three treble crochets. So we're going to chain three for the first, so one, two, three and then we're going to do two more treble crochets into the centre of this circle. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And one more, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's our first cluster of three. We're now going to chain two for the corner, one, two and do another cluster of three straight back into this centre. So that's one, two, three. Chain two for the corner, one, two, and another cluster of three. So one, two, three, another corner, one, two, and then our final cluster of three. So one, two, three. Again, I've kept my tail end very close and I've worked around it. So we're just going to chain two for our final corner. One, two, and then we're going to join this square in the same way as usual. So the top of this first initial chain three we're going to insert our hook and yarn over and pull through both loops for a slip stitch. So that's round one. So from this point onwards we're going to increase each round by four stitches on each side. So in order to do that we need to do a treble crochet in the top of each of these three stitches. So our first is going to be a chain three, one, two, three. And that's going to act as our first treble in the top of this treble here. So you now need to do another treble in each of the next two trebles. So we're going to work into the top of the stitch. So the top of the stitch is just here. You can see the V's on the top. So we're going to yarn over and insert our hook into the top of the stitch. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, in the top of the next stitch, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to work directly into this corner space and we're going to do two treble crochets. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's one and two. Chain two for the corner and then work directly back into this same corner space with another two treble crochets. 
Don't forget, I am working in UK terms, so a treble crochet in the US would be a double crochet. So I've done two trebles into the corner space, and we're now going to work into the top of these stitches. So again, into the top of the stitch, underneath the V, we're going to yarn over and insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, into the next two stitches. One, two, and then we're back to the corner. So again, we do two treble crochets. One, two, chain two for the corner. And another two treble crochets into the corner space. One, two. So again, we're going to work into the top of these three stitches. So yarn over and insert into the top of the stitch. So underneath the V at the top. One. Two, three, and then we're back to the corner. So two treble crochets in the corner, one, two, chain two for the corner, and then another two treble crochets in that very same corner space one two again into the top of these three stitches so underneath the V at the top one two and three and then our final corner two treble crochets chain two for the corner and then another two treble crochets straight back in to that same corner space we're now going to join in the same way in the top stitch of this initial chain three Insert our hook into the top of that stitch and then yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. And that is round two. So if you count your stitches, you will have three in your first round one, two, three, and in the second round you've added four, so you've got the three in the top of the original three and then you've got two at either side so on each round we add four stitches so for the next round we're going to chain three one two three and this is acting as our treble in the top of this treble here so we're going to go into the top of the next stitch and do another treble into the top of the stitch And again into the top of the next stitch, so underneath the V with another treble. Again into the next. And again into the next. And then we're at the corner. So the same rules apply. Two treble crochets, one, two, chain two for the corner and then two more treble crochets directly into that same corner space 
and again we're going to work into the top of each of these stitches along here so into the top of this stitch here yarn over insert underneath the V yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and again into the next stitch So if you want to pause the video here and make your way around, just remembering in the edges we are working into the top of the stitches, so right at the top underneath the V of the stitch we're working a treble crochet. And then when we get to the corner we're doing two treble crochets, chaining two for the corner and another two treble crochets directly back into that same corner space. So if you want to pause the video here, make your way around and I'll meet you back for joining. So I've made my way back around and all that's left to do is join. So the same rules apply. You insert your hook into the top stitch of that initial chain three and yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. So again for one more round the same rules apply. We chain three to start off with and then we do a treble crochet in the top of each of these stitches along this edge. So working into the top of the stitch, underneath the V, with a treble crochet in each stitch. And when we get to the corner, we do two treble crochets. We chain two for the corner. And then we do another two treble crochets straight back in to that same corner space. And then continue on in the top of each of the stitches. So again, if you want to just pause the video here and make your way all the way around and I'll meet you back at the end for joining. So again, I've made my way all the way around and all that's left to do is join this round. So we insert our hook into the top stitch of our initial chain three, yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. And then to finish off as normal, yarn over, pull through, Take your scissors and snip your yarn and then pull through, pull tight to secure. And there you have a solid granny square. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you did please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you click the bell button you will get notified when a new video has been uploaded. And I'll see you again next time. Thank you. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.